Hello there everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Outpost, I am John. Today we're taking a look at a figure from NECA. This is the 7 inch Ultimate Battle Damage Robocop with chair. It's the 35th anniversary of this movie, I, I can't even believe it, I remember as a kid it was one of the most horrifying scenes to watch Murphy die. To this day, I have to fast forward through that scene because I just cannot watch it. But after that, watching Robocop on that screen was just amazing. It was just like this powerhouse plowing through everything. It was, you know, it kind of had that Terminator feel in a sense, you know, because he was, you know, mostly machine, but yet a little bit of Murphy was still left in him. Anyway, I think NECA gave us a really great figure here. So let's get this out of the box and take a look at everything. Now, I do have some other versions of uh, Robocop, but they don't have any battle damage, so this one's actually really cool. This one also comes with a head sculpt, an extra hand with the little spike that comes out, which is like the data transfer thing. Then we've got the gun and the uh, muzzle flare and this awesome chair set. Now, you want to talk about a really cool accessory. This chair is really, really cool. It's got articulating screens and wires and everything in the back. Now, one of these screens actually has him sitting in the chair, and I think we're going to try to copy that scene for one of the shots. Now I gotta say, NECA did a great job in all the detail on this chair and all the detail on Robocop. So taking a look at a couple of the other accessories, we do have his famous and awesome gun. We got a muzzle flare, we got a head sculpt, which we'll take a closer look at in a moment, and we've got his little data transfer spike. So that's actually, you know, another cool accessory. So keeping in mind, this head sculpt is maybe half an inch or something like that. Uh, we've got the bullet wounds in his head. We've actually got a pretty decent sculpt and a pretty decent paint job on it. And zooming in on the spiked hand, we have just a basic sculpt with a glossy black and a plastic spike. It's not metal or anything. Now, with the gun, they gave us a nice muzzle flare. I just wish they had some color in it, like Hot Toys makes their muzzle flares and, and jetpack flames and everything. It has some oranges and yellow translucent paint. It's a little bit more clear. It attaches very, very simple. You just pop it right onto the front of the gun. Really cool effect. All right, let's take a look at the man or the machine himself. Uh, we've got some nice chrome paint, some oil stains, a lot of battle damage, as you can see. Now, when you keep in mind that this figure is only seven inches and all the detail that they crammed into this and really decent paintwork, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's silver and just some oils and black and stuff like that. We've got the split right down his helmet. Gashes and splits and oil stains and burn marks all the way throughout the armor. I mean, you look at this and you think of the scene that all of this battle damage came from and man, he took a beating. Look, that's titanium. Look at all the gouges and bullet marks. They went to town on this guy and he just kept getting up and kicking butt. You have some decent articulation in this area. Those little hydraulic pins, they do go up and down inside, so you can move the feet up and down. So yes, there is one part I'm very upset about, but I mean, I guess it is what it is because it's seven inches. You can't open up that thigh armor and put his gun in a holster. That would have been incredible. I guess I'm gonna have to get the Hot Toys version for that. Now let's zip in nice and tight so we can get a close look at this gash in the helmet here. It is a little crazy to get this close to a seven inch figure because um, everything's just gonna kind of start falling apart at some point because it's just so small. You're gonna see a lot of flaws in the paint work and everything, but I just wanted to kind of zip in there and look at the burn marks and the gouge on his helmet. Now, one of the most awesome things I remember from Robocop is just his accuracy in shooting with his targeting and how he would move. It was just so amazing. He was this modern, well, modern, I guess for that time, but he was this modern kind of Western guy, robot that would spin his gun back into his holster and his leg. It was just so cool, it was so cool. Now we have him with his data spiked hand and and the head sculpt, which is such a cool way to display this thing. Um, I do have other versions of Robocop, so I actually might display him like this next to the other one. Now with the head sculpt on, I gotta say this figure looks incredible. They give us a lot of detail on the face and all the wiring and kind of the metal parts and everything around the neck. Uh, I mean, it just, it looks so good. I mean, I don't know if the head sculpt is 100% on, it's really good. I mean, look at this side by side here. And remember, for a head sculpt that's like an inch, probably smaller than an inch, really, this is really good. All right, let's take a look at the chair he comes with, because they give us a lot of really good detail here. I mean, they, we've got like real plastic wires, and we've got an image on the screen. You can adjust the television position and the armrest forward and backwards. 
We have the headrest area that goes up and down. Around back, they give us some real plastic hoses and wires to really kind of bring it to life. We have a couple knobs and buttons on the side. They don't move or anything, they're just sculpted in. And we have the footrest that goes up and down. And yes, this whole unit is on wheels, so that's pretty cool. Now, I wanted to try to recreate this scene on the television screen over here. It was a little clunky to kind of get his arms in there and adjust things, you know, but uh, we got there. I think this is pretty cool. I'm just absolutely loving all the detail they give us. This is, this is a diorama piece. The one thing I love about having really cool details and little pieces of dioramas is that they make for great photos. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. Throw a couple of like gels on lights and everything and put them in a cool pose and you've got a great scene. Now this Robocop with this diorama piece is going to look so badass in the display. I just have to find a place to put it, but uh, I'm so happy I grabbed this. I actually found this at Target. Target lately has had some really cool things, but not every Target is made equal. I can go to a Target near my house and then a Target a few miles away and they either have completely different things or nothing at all. All right, drop down below. Let me know what you guys think about this Robocop from NECA. It's seven inches. It comes with a little diorama piece, and I think it is awesome. And while you're down there leaving some comments so we can chat, hit that like button, subscribe, and that notification button for all new upcoming videos. I have some more lightsaber unboxing and reviews coming up and some more six scale unboxing reviews coming up. Uh, well, if Hot Toys ever ships them out, that is. And at 10,000 subscribers, I teamed up with Vader Sabers and we're going to do a lightsaber giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed and that notification bell is clicked so that you can get all the info when we get closer to it. All right, my friends, I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.